What's up again, good peoples? In this video, I want to talk about three things. Um, I want to talk about some a site I saw probably like two months ago in conjunction with the Mandela Effect. Um, I want to talk about prophecy and perception. And then I want to talk about the love frequency some more. Um, but yeah, about two months ago, and I'm connecting this to the Mandela Effect. I saw a blood moon. That shit was red as fuck. And then the next day I saw it again. And then like a week after that, I uh I saw a red moon, but it was more red as orange. It was light. It was light red as orange. But yeah, that kind of tripped me out. Kind of made my heartbeat skip a little bit. And uh, cause I remember researching the blood moon, and they said they only happen like once every forty years or hundreds of years or something like that. And I saw a blood moon two days in a row. I remember once, I, the, the second time I saw it, it was big and red and yeah, it kind of shook me up. Yeah, that was trippy. Um, yeah, leave me a comment if you ever experienced something like that. Because I'm hearing some people say, uh, like the moon is showing up in the daytime a lot more now. And I can attest to that. Yeah, I don't remember the moon showing up that quite that often in the daytime when I was younger. But who knows? Maybe we didn't pay attention. Um, what's the other thing? Prophecy and perception. If you know anybody who talks about this subject, please send me a link. But I just wanted to say that, um, you know, when people prophesy things in the past, and how do I want to say this? I guess perceptions can affect the way you see a prophecy because a lot of people are doom and gloom and um just like with the the Mandela effect and the rapture, you know, some people are looking at it as a good thing, some people are looking at it as a bad thing. I don't know, I guess I should have developed my thoughts on this a little more before I made the video. But, oh well. Anyway, in the love frequency, I just keep thinking in my head, you know, how the knowledge affects, the knowledge in our head affects our reality, which, you know, everybody knows by now in this new age. But, uh, I'm just thinking about how like the things you concentrate on throughout the day if you're not concentrating on positive things you're not gonna have a positive life you're gonna have enemies everywhere you know i see it so clear now we are the sum of the the energy we were born with or some might say personality and the knowledge that we walk around with in our head We were taught many things growing up, and as most of us know, most of that shit was a lot. Um, the beautiful thing, like Bruce Lee said, he said, the greatest thing about the mind is that it can be empty. But yeah, the greatest thing about that is we can change our mind and change our world, change our perception. It's kind of like magic. Yeah. That's some cool shit. And that's why I like to talk about the love frequency. Because if we keep love in our head and it gets into our subconscious, it can change the world, change our life. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful thing going on right now in this world. It's a lot of things going on. I don't understand how people want to keep their head in the, in the sand and not see what's really going on. So many people talking some far out shit now. And the most far out thing is like that we can live on a planet with peace and harmony and love. And some people don't believe it can happen. Fuck those people. Anyway, I enter on that, y'all. Be easy. I had to come out here and, and add uh, add to my video. Uh, y'all remember that verse in the Bible that says, A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So... You got to keep love in your heart. Because if you got fear and love in your heart, 
You ain't gonna make it to the new age. Yeah, man.